The goals are to promote exclusive nasal breathing, to strengthen and tone the muscles of the orofacial complex so that their lips can be together, their tongue on the roof of the mouth, nasal breathing, among others that we'll discuss. And so these are the guidelines that, that are published and that the ENT and sleep colleagues are following. And it's important for you to know that so that you can kind of interface with them and see where they're coming from. And so some doctors only want a randomized control trial, double blind, to be experimental. And so that's what you're up against, and you have to know. All right, the level of evidence what I'm talking about is four and five, three, four and five. It's not one and two, I acknowledge that. So you have to realize that anything else you're doing, what's the level of evidence for that? What's the level of evidence for tonsillectomy, and triple P, and CPAP? You have to start down here. It's very hard to do randomized control studies on frenuloplasty. How can you blind someone to a frenuloplasty? <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. 1836, the first case report. Just a case report. And so the first paper that recognized that, hey, hung tai, sleep apnea, was 2015. Before that, there was no research on it whatsoever. And it wasn't until 2017, just two years ago, then we have the first research paper in the tongue affects the way the teeth develop, contributes to the higher health. In 2018, we're now understanding. We found it was just tongue tie. Now it's more than that. It's low tongue posture because of tongue tie, or because of mouth breathing, or because of cranial strain. The trouble with everything. This is where myofunctional therapy comes into play. A set of exercises and evaluation techniques to help patients become nasal breathers, lip together tongue on the roof of the mouth. So when you have this tongue tie, the tongue is going to be forced slow. You won't be able to comply with the myofunctional therapy. There's a limit to how much progress you can make. That's when your tongue tie procedures come into play. You got to look at it. You release a little bit. You wait. You look again. You feel for the restrictions. Aiming for primary intention healing, okay? The preoperative therapy. These are the factors that are going to be important to rehabilitate any patient. And it's not a one size fit all, you're just going to cut in the middle, make a diamond in the lead. What we're promoting instead is an individualized approach based on the function and the structure that we see, a targeted approach. You're going to do all your assessments, you're going to get all your team around you, and you're going to, you're going to come up with a plan that you're going to treat this patient. You're going to manage it and cure it. Lips together, tongue up, nasal breathing. And this is what we want for our patients.